Nigerian ambassador to Burkina Faso, Ramatu Ahmed, says no fewer than 10,000 Nigerians are forced into prostitution in the country. The victims of sex trade are mainly underage girls kept in appalling conditions in mining camps in the West African country. Ahmed told the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Ouagadougou, that over 200 Nigerian girls have been voluntarily repatriated this year. According to the ambassador, who has been in Burkina Faso since August 2017, many of the girls who were promised jobs in the country and Europe by the human traffickers are not willing to return home. Ahmed, who bemoaned the activities of sex trade syndicates operating in Burkina Faso, vowed that the embassy, in collaboration with the local authorities, would continue to track them down and bring them to book. The spate of human trafficking in Burkina Faso is really is a real concern to the embassy. Because at present, we have not less than 10,000 Nigerian girls who have been trafficked into Burkina Faso for commercial sex work. Most of these girls are under age. Most left school and are just thrown about doing commercial sex work in Burkina Faso. This, apart from being a dent in our country, this should also be a source of concern as far as their health is concerned. This is very, very serious for us. And most of the girls who want to go back as a result of this, voluntary repatriation, do it because they were tricked. They didn't know the condition they were going to find themselves here in Burkina Faso. For every Nigerian girl that is escaped and wants to go back, there are more than 10 in the bush that are willing to do the work. This is despite efforts of the state government and the federal government through NAPTI. NAPTI. 200 girls have been repatriated to Nigeria by the embassy. This is apart from the ones that run to the churches, some to other civil society organizations, and an international organization for migration. In fact, international organization for migration is complaining to the embassy that most of its money, meant for West Africa, is used to repatriate Nigerians back home, Nigerian girls mostly back home, and they are complaining that with time they will, never, they will not be able to cope with the number. So if the embassy alone has repatriated 200 girls, you can imagine how much the IOM has repatriated, how many they have repatriated, and the reason why they are complaining. Most of the girls who come to us will tell us that their parents don't know that they are here. And some will tell us that will tell us that their their parents know that. Some will tell us that they were sold by either their mother or their father or their brother or their uncle. So this is the problem that emanates from the family. For the girls, I wish to tell them that anybody they see that comes to tell them that he's taking them somewhere. To either to be employed as a hairdresser or to work in the shop. These are human traffickers. Anybody that will not tell them to work in Nigeria, that will tell them to move out of Nigeria, is simply a human trafficker. 